In probability theory, the sample space of an experiment or random trial is the set of all possible outcomes or results of that experiment. A sample space is usually denoted using set notation, and the possible ordered outcomes are listed as elements in the set. It is common to refer to a sample space by the labels S, omega, or U for universal set. For example, if the experiment is tossing a coin, the sample space is typically the set head, tail. For tossing two coins, the corresponding sample space would be head, 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 tail, tail, head, tail, tail, commonly written HH, HT, TH, TT. If the sample space is unordered, it becomes head, 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 tail, tail, tail. For tossing a single six-sided die, the typical sample space is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in which the result of interest is the number of pips facing up. A well-defined sample space is one of three basic elements in a probabilistic model a probability space, the other two are a well-defined set of possible events a sigma algebra and a probability assigned to each event a probability measure function. Topic. Conditions of a sample space A set omega display style omega with outcomes s 1 s 2 s n display style s underscore 1 s underscore 2 l dots s underscore n ie omega equals s 1 s 2 s n Display style omega equals s underscore one s underscore two l dots s underscore n must meet some conditions in order to be a sample space. The outcomes must be mutually exclusive, i.e., if s j display style s underscore j takes place, then no other S I display style S underscore I will take place I J equals one two N I does not equal J Display style for a lie J equals one two L dots N quad I N E Q J. The outcomes must be collectively exhaustive, i.e. on every experiment or random trial there will always take place some outcome S I element of Omega display style S underscore I in Omega for I element of one two N display style I in one two L dots N the sample space omega display style omega must have the right granularity depending on what we are interested in. We must remove irrelevant information from the sample space. In other words, we must choose the right abstraction forget some irrelevant information, for instance, in the trial of tossing a coin, we could have as a sample space omega 1 equals h, t display style omega underscore 1 equals h, t, where h display style h stands for heads and t display style t for tails. 
Another possible sample space could be omega 2 equals H and R, H and N R, T and R, T and N R, display style omega underscore 2 equals H and R, H and near, T and R, T and near. Here R display style R stands for rains and N R display style near not rains obviously omega 1 display style omega underscore 1 is a better choice than omega 2 display style omega underscore 2 as we do not care about how the weather affects the tossing of a coin topic multiple sample spaces For many experiments, there may be more than one plausible sample space available, depending on what result is of interest to the experimenter. For example, when drawing a card from a standard deck of 52 playing cards, one possibility for the sample space could be the various ranks ace through king, while another could be the suits clubs, diamonds, hearts, or spades. A more complete description of outcomes, however, could specify both the denomination and the suit, and a sample space describing each individual card can be constructed as the Cartesian product of the two sample spaces noted above this space would contain 52 equally likely outcomes. Still other sample spaces are possible, such as right side up, upside down if some cards have been flipped when shuffling. <laughs> Equally likely outcomes Some treatments of probability assume that the various outcomes of an experiment are always defined so as to be equally likely. However, there are experiments that are not easily described by a sample space of equally likely outcomes. For example, if one were to toss a thumbtack many times and observe whether it landed with its point upward or downward, there is no symmetry to suggest that the two outcomes should be equally likely. Though most random phenomena do not have equally likely outcomes, it can be helpful to define a sample space in such a way that outcomes are at least approximately equally likely, since this condition significantly simplifies the computation of probabilities for events within the sample space. If each individual outcome occurs with the same probability, then the probability of any event becomes simply P E V E N T equals number of outcomes in event number of outcomes in sample space Display style P event equals frac text number of outcomes in event text number of outcomes in sample space. For example, if two dice are thrown to generate two uniformly distributed integers, D1 and D2, each in the range 1. 0.6 the 36 ordered pairs d1 d2 constitute a sample space of equally likely events in this case the above formula applies such that the probability of a certain sum say d1 plus d2 equals 5 is easily shown to be 4 36 since 4 of the 36 outcomes produce 5 as a sum on the other hand, the sample space of the 11 possible sums, 2 
12 are not equally likely outcomes, so the formula would give an incorrect result 1 11th equals topic simple random sample equals in statistics inferences are made about characteristics of a population by studying a sample of that population's individuals in order to arrive at a sample that presents an unbiased estimate of the true characteristics of the population, statisticians often seek to study a simple random sample—that is, a sample in which every individual in the population is equally likely to be included. The result of this is that every possible combination of individuals who could be chosen for the sample is also equally likely that is, the space of simple random samples of a given size from a given population is composed of equally likely outcomes. Infinitely large sample spaces Equals. In an elementary approach to probability, any subset of the sample space is usually called an event. However, this gives rise to problems when the sample space is continuous, so that a more precise definition of an event is necessary. Under this definition only measurable subsets of the sample space, constituting a sigma algebra over the sample space itself, are considered events. See also Parameter space probability space space mathematics set mathematics event probability theory sigma algebra equals equals notes <laughs>